Hi friends, welcome back. In previous session, we have created one image gallery and we have uploaded all these images by using ASP.NET Core MVC application. In today's session, we are going to add two hyperlinks here below the image to download and delete the image which is already uploaded. For that, I am going to open our index view here next to this image I am going to create two hyperlinks here and add hyperlink here we have to pass the image path and then I will make it as download and also I am going to create one more hyperlink for deletion I will hard reload this application so we are able to see this download and delete hyperlinks so we have to implement the functionality for downloading the image and deleting the image I am going to create one action method for download first I'll create one asynchronous action method I'll make it as download image to download the image we need image name which we are going to receive it from the index view that is going to be image name and once we get the image name we have to check whether this data is valid or not I'm going to use if condition if it is not empty or not null then we are going to download the image so here we have to get the path of the image so where we can get this image path so this is our root path so we are going to store all the images here we have to use the path dot combine then we have to pass root path along with the image name So once we get the path then we have to use the memory here memory stream to download the image again we are going to use the file stream here here we have to pause path and file mode here we have to open the file for that I have to use file mode that open we are going to use await here we have to pause memory here here we have to use memory dot position is going to be 0 and we have to pass the content type here content type will be application slash a stream so we are going to make it as stream this content type is fixed one we no need to change anything and here we can pass the file name so again we can get the file name from path or we can take it from this image name also and finally we have to return the file we have to use memory and content type 
so these are all the things we have to pause it here so it is going to download into your local directory if image name is not valid if it is empty or null then we are going to return empty okay empty view we are going to return empty view we'll keep debug point here and i'll run the application this is going to be i'll open the image gallery here so i'm going to download this image click on download here we have to pass the controller name and we have to pass the file name so this is our file name so before that we need to pass this action method name also it's a download image So we are going to pass our controller name inside controller name we have to call our action method called download image so we have to pass the file name because this action method is expecting image name as input parameter so i am going to hot reload this i'll click on download so now this time we are getting the path correctly click on download it's hitting our controller here the image name is null we need to check it again okay here we have to pass it as query string the file name or i can pass it img name now this should work i'll reload again continue click on download now so this time we are getting image name correctly and since image is not empty we are getting inside this if block so we are going to copy this image and we are going to return this so this image has been downloaded i'll click on this folder so i can open this so our image has been downloaded so now we can implement this delete functionality i'll close this browser I'm going to reuse this action method for the deletion. Here I'll make it as delete image, and I'm going to pass the same image name for this. So here I'm going to pass this path again for the deletion. So. this is the image gallery instead of download image i can make it as delete image this is our action method so we need to create this so delete image this we don't want so we need path and the image name so here we have to check whether this image is available inside this directory or not for that i'm going to use if file dot exist so here i have to pass path 
it is available then we need to delete here we have to add the missing reference for this so it's, it comes from system.io.file then we have to delete that image so once it is successfully deleted again we have to return to our index view here we have to pass our action method name so once the image is deleted we are going to return to our index view here we can use await so we can make it this as normal action method instead of asynchronous I can save it I'll run the application now so here we can keep debug point we will run it so if required you can add any messages here so once it is image is deleted image deleted successfully like that you can show the messages whenever we are uploading also we can uh, show the message to the end user like uh, image uploaded successfully so you can add as per your requirement I'll go to the image gallery so now I'm planning to delete this image I'll click on delete so it's hitting to my breakpoint in the controller this so this is the image name I'm getting here I'll go to F10 so since image is available so this condition is satisfied it's going inside the block I'm getting the path here since this path is contains this image it's going inside so now it's going to delete the image once it is deleted we are going to redirect again to index view I'll click on F5 so that image has been deleted now I'll try to delete this also delete F5 see that image has been deleted I'll click on delete again so images are successfully deleted you can see the directory currently we have four images inside our gallery you can go to the solution explorer and you can see only four files are available here if required these images or files can be stored in your file server or you can store it in your database or if you have any azure account so you can store inside the azure also so that's it for today if you like this video Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.